Are you in the market for a new commercial mower? Because we got four of the leading brands, including the Steel RM4 RTP and the Weebang Virtue 53 SMP. And from AS Motor, we got the AS510E. And from Grin, we got the PM53A KW. And hopefully one of these mowers is going to put a smile on your face. Tested by Machinery Nation. So in this video, we are going to put these mowers for their paces. We are going to designate an area of this horrible grass for them to cut. But first of all, let's check out the specs. So Josh, let's start it off with a mower that not probably everyone has heard of. No, that is the Grin. It's only come into the UK this year, early part of this year. It's brought in by a company, a distribution network called PSD. Grin are renowned for mulching mowers, or should I call it a pulverizer, because that's what the Italians call their mulching machines. So this particular product is fitted with a 180cc Kawasaki engine, pressure lubricated so it'll work up to a 30 degree angle. Handles themselves are one piece handles so they're fully welded all the way around so it's one piece so you don't get any weakness in any of the joints and it's got a very special system underneath a blade protection system which is on a cone and there's no bearings under there but it's fully supported so if you hit anything basically you've got a little bit of movement between the blade boss and the actual cone itself so you're not going to damage any bearings so that is their own design and we'll take a look at that later. And the AS Motor Josh. Yeah, so this is the AS510E. It's fitted with the Ego Power Plant, which means you can fit two of their batteries under the cover or put the backpack battery in. It's variable speed up on the drive, so it's nice and smooth. It's got the aggressive traction wheels on this model. It's got a rolled deck, so nice and strong cutting deck, and it's got crankshaft protection underneath as well. And you'll see something a little bit different to the rest of them. You've got these skinny wheels on the front. Being a mulching mower, you don't want to push as much grass over when you're cutting it. So this reduces the amount of grass pushed over, but also for commercial use, it's very heavy duty for pulling it out the back of your van and all those impacts and shakes that your front axle might get. And Wally, can you tell us about the Weebang? because it seems to be your favourite. Uh, the Weebang is uh, fitted with a Kawasaki FJ180V engine. It's got roll deck, variable speed, crankshaft protection. Um, what else has it got? Um, oh, this is the Weebang, yeah, the Virtue 53 SMP. Um, mulching mower, crankshaft protection, uh, front bumper bar. Um, yeah. Thanks, Wally. Thanks. So, should we do it properly? Yeah, let's do it properly. So this is the Weebang Virtue 53 SMP. It's got a rolled deck, it's a steel deck, it's got crankshaft protection. You've got a three-speed gearbox up the top, um, variable speed on the throttle, fitted with Kawasaki FJ180V engine, so that's pressure lubricated just like the Grin up to 30 degrees. You've got a front bumper bar, heavy duty axles, and three-speed pro gearbox. So is this one still as good as the rest? Well, hopefully so. This is the steel RM4 RTP and it's the only one in the range that's got an aluminium cutting deck. It has got the cutting deck skirts on there, so protection, so you're not going to wear the side of your cutting deck away. So I've got the heavy duty sort of handle system and bracing up here. Fit with a Kola engine, which is an easy start, and it's got auto choke on it, so you're not going to flood your engine. You've got the aggressive front tyres, which are rubberized, and it is the only one as well, which is front wheel drive. So the most important part of any mower is the business end, the blade and the deck shell. So now we're going to look through to see what the differences are between each of them. As the first is the grin. I know Josh mentioned just now, but the tubular frame that goes around all around the mower, that is, compared to the others all the way up through, that is proper solid, it isn't is. it? And the only welded part is just underneath that cover there. Oh, okay. That's the only bit that's welded. So they use, they use the rubber bit to cover it up, do they? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Your, I, I did mention to start off with that the grin has a slightly different system underneath. So that cone support, there's no bearing underneath there. And what that's designed to do, there's a gap around the blade boss and the cone itself, and it allows for the movement. So if you do hit anything hard, instead of damaging a bearing or keeping the bearing really solid and the engine crankshaft solid and doing more damage this allows a little bit of flex and you see on here you've got a winged blade as well that's different to the rest of them um, and like I say Grin are renowned for their mulching mowers that's all they make so they've got this system in place that basically recirculates the glass grass a little bit different and hopefully mulch that really really well but I thought the first thing we could do is actually check and measure the depth of the deck because a mulching mower wants to keep the grass under for longer and the best mulching mowers in the world have got the deepest decks, in theory. That's what we're going to find out. <laughs> so we're going to check the depths and see what they're all about. So what is the grin measuring it and Josh? So it's coming in about 122 mil. And what the thickness is the blade? Five mil. So on the AS motor, we have got some noticeable differences between the others. We have. So I really like the replaceable bumper strips on the side. So obviously everyone bangs their mowers against walls, curbs, whatever it might be. And to actually have a replaceable strip on the side, I think makes a lot of sense. And what is the depth of the deck, Josh? And the depth of the deck? James is 120 millimeter. And thickness of the blade? 
blade? Coming in at about four mil. So the Weebang has a rolled lip around the bottom, which isn't replaceable like on the AS. But the one thing I really, really like is their wheel cleaners. The little spring that they've got on the wheel. It's a good idea. Right? To obviously with mulching, you end up with a lot of debris on your wheels. And if it's damp, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And your height of cut gets higher. Whereas that will keep your wheels reasonably clean. Mm -hmm. And you've got the heavy duty front bumper and you've got the slip clutch washers on your blade to protect your crankshaft. There we are. And the depth of the deck is? So this one's a little bit less. He's coming in at 118 millimeters. Very similar to the um, AS motor, about four mil. So the still, again, replaceable bumper strips. I really, really like. It's the only one that's aluminium or aluminum in the USA, <laughs> should we say. It's got the heavy duty um, gearbox protection on there as well. And no slip clutch washer or no friction disc or bearing support. But what you have got on this one is you've got two lugs that will shear off on the blade boss if you hit anything hard. So you then just replace the blade boss. So you've still boss. got some good protection. Good protection. What's yeah. the depth of the deck and Joshy? That one there is 105 millimetres, so it is the narrowest of them all. Right. And the blade itself, a little bit thinner than the rest of them. That's about three and a half mil, I should think. Brilliant. And has Wally caught anything behind you yet? He's still digging. Still digging, well. So, on to the next test. And that test is cutting long grass and cutting rougher stuff. And, um, yeah, it's worth bearing in mind, what we are up against today is sort of anywhere between 10 and 12 inches. It's not all like this, but there might be that situation where you've only got your mulching mower on board and you want to cut longer stuff and you just want to know what the sort of finish is going to be. Right, let's check it out. Right, so let's get cutting. Let's actually do what you want to see. So we're going to do a square each on each mower. I got the still up first. It's on the higher setting. Let's start her up. Oh, let's mow. And now it's the wee bang's turn. motor here we go and we're off and now we got the grin pulverizer Let's check out the results. So the long grass test is certainly the one to try them, for sure. Mm -hmm. Because the rule of mulching is you'd only take a third of the grass off. If you've got three inches of grass, you take off an inch. If you've got six inches of grass, you take off two inches. Well, we've pretty much taken off 50% of the material. To be fair, looking at the AS from here, you can see that actually cuts a lot higher than the rest of them, which is better for longer grass. But the still to start with. So yeah, looking at the still and the results that the still gave us, pretty impressive for something that's got the shallowest deck as well it is you know it was a little bit rougher here a little bit longer grass as james can show you there's a little bit of mulch clippings left over there are. but the rest of it pretty nice really isn't it and what we'll do in a minute is take it down another level on each mower to see what they can then do further still and mm -hmm. see what they can leave behind so the weebang has cut everything that we've given it it's left a few stalks behind from last year's sting and nettles, but otherwise it's done a pretty good job yeah it's pretty uniform finish there's not a lot of tufts of grass left over no 
other than what we've got in the front there's a little bit of longer grass but again it's probably mulched up maybe a little bit better than the steel i would say yeah and just a little bit left behind on the end of the rows yeah right i'd say with the as motor it's given the best cut results of them all without doubt but it does go up to 90 millimeters so it's the highest cut of the lot yeah so it's not going down into the depths as the other one did but we'll try and level them all up in a minute and cut them all evenly as well on top of this but that ego engine absolute powerhouse it didn't still it didn't fold it it just kept going it nice didn't quiet didn't change tune it really didn't and it had to done a fantastic job so the grin josh did it put a smile on your face it did it's nice to use it's nice to use and to be fair it's done again a superb job it has yeah you could being an engine compared to the battery motor on the as you could hear the engine change tune mm -hmm. but it has carried on and left a fantastic finish yeah no and tufts at all i would say no almost. tufts at all and there's hardly any grass to be seen I'm struggling to find a bit in front of me. It's so, what we yeah. call pulverizing. Pulverized. So now James has set the cutting decks to two fingers deep, very scientific there. We're going to extend the cutting patch out by about a meter at the back and we're going to cut a little bit lower. So it's my game for the still. I bang, you bang, we all bang together. Well, we would. Now we will. Was the ass more? We'll turn it on, mate. <laughs> yeah. No, on the front. On the front. <laughs> Rookies, eh? Amateurs. Rookies. Bloody amateurs. Right, try again. And for Roman, this is the ass mortar. Chiamo James Pufferore Grin Bene Molto Bene. Via Stefano, let's go. So when you're mulching, you want to leave as little debris behind as possible. That debris might be caught up underneath the cutting deck. So what we want to do is we want to flip over each mower and see actually how much grass is left underneath and how much cleaning you want to have to do at the end of your stint. Because what you'll find is the mulching mowers, if they build a lot of material up underneath the deck, all of a sudden you get to a place and all of a sudden it'll want to just dump a load of grass out and you'll end up with a really sort of dark green yeah. ring on your lawn. And so it's normally at the ends where you lift up the mower and you spin it around. Exactly. Right, should we flip the still over and have a look? Let's have a look. So to be fair, that looks a lot cleaner. <laughs> it's, it's a lot cleaner, to. yeah. But I think with the still design of the bottom of the deck is obviously it's front wheel drive. Mm -hmm. So you've got the belt going from the gearbox there to the deck shell here, which creates a lump each side of the deck. Oh yeah. So there, grass is going to build right. up and not be, I, I would say, not, not have such a good result mm. be, because of that. Whereas a clear shell deck would have a lot better finish. All right, the wee bang. Wow. That's clean. That is very clean. Yeah. Again, you've got a little bit of build up on the grass around the bolts and where the height adjustment spring goes in. Otherwise, that is yeah. superb. And spring. even, there's no debris caught on the blades either. It's, no. it's cleaned itself right out. It's very so good. Very nice. Yeah. All right, so the AS. Even cleaner Look again. The nice thing I think about this again on the bottom of the deck is all the coach bolts have got the smooth side down, 
bar these ones around the deck. And again, you can start seeing a little tiny bit of build-up of grass there. Yeah, and I think anything that is on the bottom of the deck is going to cause a grass build-up mm. where it hangs up. Obviously, if you clean your mower regularly, that's absolutely fine. But if you're going out for a full day, it's going to be yeah. harder and harder and harder as that day goes on, isn't it? And it's interesting the design of blades between all four of them as well. They're all they all slightly different, they do. don't they? Yeah. And I would say this one actually, I, we haven't mentioned it, but I think this one's actually closer to the bottom of the deck than the other two. Right. Yeah. So maybe yeah. that's giving you a better or oh, chucks the grass up and then allows it to come out. And then still got the height of cut yeah. of 90 mil. 90 mil that, yeah. is highest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Right. Next one. And the grin. Look at that. Again, that's clean, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. But that is, and again, really nice clean deck shell, isn't it? So it's probably the smoothest deck shell out of the lot. Okay. But All again, right. they have got bolts sticking out the bottom, mm -hmm. which I think every mower should be smooth as possible. Where if they turn those bolts up the other way, I don't know how that would work with the engine mounting, but. Maybe, or even recess bolts. Yeah. So the cone goes over the top of it, and then yeah, exactly. there's a little socket that's hole true. for it to be going in. But, yeah, but yeah. no, very clean. So one major thing difference between the still and the other mowers is that this is the only mower that doesn't actually have a speed control on it. All the other threes, you can slow down or speed up. So this is set at one speed. So in longer grass, that's where you're gonna really struggle because you can't slow it down. And I think that's the main cause of why it hasn't quite mulched as well as the others. All right, so now just one big long strip to compare the mowers side by side. This one has a single speed, so it's, it's, it is what it is speed wise. Josh, you put yours in the middle, haven't you? Mm -hmm. And we're going to put the other two in the middle setting as well to just compare the results the best we possibly can. You on the highest setting? Yeah. I'm on the highest setting, but we're going to set the AS down by one, aren't we? Okay. Cool. Right, trying to make it as fair as possible. <laughs> to be fair, we've got the speed, speed straight, right. That's the straight line brigade, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Don't look at the straight lines. <laughs> right, so it's the same again with the Grin and AS. Let's fire them up. Oh. Oh. What have I done? You spilled it. I was trying to change the speed. Oh, wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down a bit. Another rookie error. <laughs> right, let me catch up. It needs to be in the speed too, by the looks of it. Well, we ended up in the right place. Yeah. Just as wonky. Just as wonky, mm. yeah. I wouldn't employ us to do anything with a straight line. No, I wouldn't, no. But if you want curved lines in your garden, we're the men for it. Well, this is it. Some people don't like straight lines. No. Some people would like to live outside the box. That's it. They have done a cracking job, all four of them. In the short grass areas, they've all been very, very equal. As you saw, we sort of tried to set them to the same speed and the same height, and it has actually worked quite well. And then, where Josh is, up here, we have got some longer grass. All right, so the grin. What have we got there, mate? Yeah, a little bit left over. Yeah. A little bit straggly, but, you know, it's to be. Again, you could have slowed that down a little bit more and yeah. given it a chance. But AS. AS, very similar. Yeah. It's all got a bit there left there. Still, yeah, a little bit of extra left over, I think, on that one. Yeah, the wee bang. And the wee bang, yeah, very similar to the steel, I would say. Yeah. So the steel, Josh? Yeah, so the steel, nice product. Nice and lightweight, so it's easy to use. It only weighs in at 44 kilos, which is the lightest with that and the AS motor, but that's dry weight, obviously. So Without no the batteries. batteries. Yeah. So really nice to use. I'd say aluminium deck is a massive plus. It's going to last a lot longer than any of the steel decks. Mm -hmm. Without a shadow of a doubt, we know that for a fact. Also, it's easier on the pocket for the commercial is. user. Yeah. So as a more sort of entry level commercial product, mm. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It is front wheel drive, which I've never been a massive fan of. No. And it doesn't have obviously variable speed yeah but one thing to be said with the front wheel drive it is again one of those love it or hate it sort of it situations is. yeah i know lots of people who love it yeah because you can keep your drive going get mm -hmm. to the end of your line literally keep the drive on and then just drop it down again and keep going yeah but going up hills obviously you're gonna have that lack of traction a little mm -hmm. bit we bang we bang yeah i bang you bang we all bang together we all bang together beautiful kawasaki engine mm -hmm. no getting away from it the, F the fj 180v 
smack on yeah. engine. It's better than the 179 FJV. I only know that because I've got just red on the top. So. <laughs> I can't remember model numbers to save my life. No, but yeah, strong machine, heavy duty. You know, you've got that front bumper on yeah. you. You've got the three speed pro gearbox as well on it. Yeah. And you've got that blade brake clutch assembly. On and blade brake clutch. for a very well priced machine, it is rear wheel drive. Yeah. Which I do love that. Again, they've all single height adjustment on all four of them. It's easy to adjust the height on all four. Easy fold handles with the Weebang, mm -hmm. yeah. which the still doesn't have. Yeah. So, you know, if you are putting it back of a van or you're limited for space in the back of a van or a shed, then that always makes a big, big difference. Yeah. And it's pressure lubricated as well. Mm -hmm. So you've got a spin on oil filter on the Kawasaki. So it means you can use it on 30, up to 30 degree angles as well, which is the same as a grin. AS. AS. Now for a battery product, fantastic, on it? It gave a hell of a finish. Even well, we were, yeah, yeah, we were impressed by <laughs> well, that. It's great. I, 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 I love that machine. It is a mm. great machine. And with the Ego coupled on the top. It's a winner. The right? torque of that Ego motor is phenomenal. Yeah, it, I know that, again, the battery stuff is love-hate for a lot of people. Everyone goes, no, oh, I don't like battery, I don't want battery. But when you've used that, doing what it's just done now, it just proves it's oh. there, isn't it? Yeah, incredible. You know, it's got the power, just, you know, battery longevity and all of that. You can put the backpack battery on the top of that mm. one if you want to. But yeah, fantastic machine. No imprint on the ground with the front wheels as well, whereas yeah. some of the other ones where they're a bit wider on yeah, the wheels. Yeah, you can see some of them where the, the where the mower has pushed the grass down yeah. and, you know, it's longer where the wheel's been, where obviously, yeah, with the AS, you don't get that, do you? Nice. The, the grin. grin. Well, it has to be said, even Carol Smiley's going to be happy with that mower. <laughs> oh, God's sake. <laughs> I had to bring it out. I had to bring it out. But no, the grin, obviously, they are renowned for making mulch mowers. Yeah. There's no getting away from it. Yeah. Or should we say again, pulverizer. Mm -hmm. And I'll, 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 I'll say it, you know, my Italian is limited, but bene, molto bene. It's just good, very good. Miscusi for the rest of it. I thought it was motorway. Oh, no, that's motorbahn. <laughs> that's German. I'm in German, yeah. Sorry, ass <laughs> motor. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no, but the Grin, Kawasaki engine, yeah. two speed gearbox, nice height adjuster. What, I, what do you want? It is, a, it is a cracker mower. It's done a fantastic job. Really, really like it. My only, I say, it's not really negative, but the only sort of downside I'd say with it is the handles. You've got to have the handle in one place. You can't move your hands. They've got to stay there. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the other mowers, you've got options where you can put your hands. Mm -hmm. So if you are mowing all day, it's nice to have a little bit of movement. Yeah. You know, you think, actually, you know, my hands are a bit... You know, or aching a little aching, bit. Exactly. You can take get one hand off. Yeah, move around there, go around there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas that is a two-handed operation all day, every day, in exactly the same place. Yeah. So, there well, is no getting away from it, though. These two did produce better results. But there is a but. They obviously are a little bit more expensive. They come with the price tag. Two machines up there. Yeah. So if you are looking for a dedicated mulcher and that is all you're doing, then these products are probably going to be better suited to you. Yeah. Whereas than going for a machine that you might use as a sideline. Yeah. You know, you well, might yeah. have a collector, but then you want a mulcher as well. Yeah. Whereas you know, if your you know, mulching isn't quite as important, it's not a job you're doing all the time, then yeah, great for the the still and the wee bank. So in the comments below, guys, let us know what machine you use. Do you collect grass? Do you mulch? Or do you do both? And what product have you got? And if you're interested in any of these products, the link is below in our description. Or pop into your nearest dealer to find out and get the best advice you possibly can before buying. We're Machinery Nation. We bring you product videos every week all about tools and machinery. Please subscribe. Please give us a like. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! Cheerio.